I know some of you were wondering when I was going to do a commentary about this. It was coming. I just needed to take my time to gather and collect (laughs) what I was going to say about this thing right here. So I think this is going to be the first time I ever talk about Stedman on my channel. I may have mentioned his name in passing, but the fact that he's a focal point of this situation is going to be the first time that I do it like that. We already know I've been going in on the man, on the Mammy Supreme like pretty much all of last year up into recent day. And this one will be no different. So apparently the Mammy Supreme has pretty much quarantined herself in her house. But just herself as far as we know. Because she says that Stedman, her beard has to stay quarantined in the guest house. He can't stay in the main house or in the same bed with the Mammy Supreme. Something tells me that if her bosom buddy, Gail the Gargantuan, wanted to stay there, she would have no problem welcoming her into her home with open arms and open mouth and open legs yes i went there with that now with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and read this article and see what else they're talking about okra is not taking any chances when it comes to the wuhan as she recently revealed that her longtime love more like longtime prop stedman graham and you know what's so crazy? As much as we talked about Stedman, I always thought Stedman may have been his last name. I never knew his last name was Graham. Has been living in their guest house during the global pandemic. He's at the guest house because you all know I have pneumonia late last year. I had just gotten off of antibiotics last week because I had bronchi- bronchial infection. Wigfrey told Magazine O oh, during an Instagram Live. Okra said that while Stedman, age 69, doesn't have the virus, he had been traveling and was, quote unquote, one of those who had been, quote unquote, late to the party with social distancing. Wait a minute. Okra, how do we know you don't have it? It's amazing how she was so quick to put Stedman into the guest house as if he had it and was real quick with it as well. As if he's going to say no, because Okra is paying him. Uh, Let's see here. I don't see what everybody's getting so upset about. That's what Stedman was saying. And that's why Stedman's at the guest house. She said, well, we never heard from Stedman. We only heard from you, Okra. Stedman did not arrive from Chicago until Thursday. He had been speaking in St. Louis. He'd been on plane. So Stedman is like, what's the procedure for coming home? The procedure is you ain't coming and sleeping in my bed. Okra added. Do you see how forceful she said that too? Now, this is the person that's supposed to be her love, the the man in her life. And she's talking to him like that. And she's saying all of this on her Instagram live to the world. She's just basically emasculating this man for everybody to see. But that's just how okra is with any black man for that matter. And literally he goes, I'm not. And I go, have you not been paying attention to the news? Social distancing does not mean you go and sleep in the same bed with the person when you just got off American Airlines. The couple who are not married but have been together since 1986 have daily love chats through the window and okra brings her man breakfast and dinner every day look at that they've been together since 1986 and they're not even engaged i'm telling you this man is the beard for okra and gail the gargantuan my friends say oh isn't stepman upset he's really not he's happy to keep me safe she added it's like well here it is Stedman is more of a puppet than anything, and she's the puppet master. She either got his hand, got her hand up his back, or she's playing around with the string. And that's the whole article right there. I can't stand okra, as many of you already know, but I would not be surprised if she got that woo woo. I would not be surprised if she had it. I mean, that would be more karma added to the the dump. That is her entire existence. I mean, between that fall she took 
that we believe was the spirit of Michael Jackson. And it was something else that happened recently as well. I can't remember, but this would be another notch on the belt. And we wouldn't care either way. It's just what it is. But after Stedman, he's only there to get that check. That's the only reason he's there. And that's the only reason he ain't leaving either. Let's be real and honest with ourselves here. That is why Stedman is there. He is not leaving that financial blanket known as okra the mammy supreme but like i said in the beginning i stand by what i said if gail wanted to come over she wouldn't be talking about no social distancing then she would be one of the most biggest anti-social distancing people on the planet if gail came over just even being in the house she won't even let him be in the house now you gotta think okra has many rooms but most likely has many rooms in her house But she makes him stay in the guest house. I'm telling you, that woman ain't no good. She ain't right at all. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on. And I will talk to you in the next one.